and welcome to another edition of On This Planet Earth. I'm Mark Gilchrist and I'm in Hong Kong right now. Let's go for a ride on a 4x4. Four, four. four interesting topics in only four minutes. I got my hair cut about 10 days ago. And you know, it's, it's not as complicated as, as you think. I mean, right? So I usually get, I ask for a three on the sides and like a zero or one up top. I was in Hanoi, Vietnam in one of these places right on the street. And the guy did just fine for a while. He, I guess he used a three or something, uh, but he used it all around, right? And I, I, I wanted something a little closer up top, so I, you know, I, I made this motion kind of thing. Next thing I know, he takes the things off the razor and, and then just plows through the rest of my head. Gone. Uh, cue ball. Coat jack. It's all good. I'm standing in front of what uh, Americans call the Hanoi Hilton. What Vietnamese people call the fiery hell. It's the prison where we know that uh, American, mostly pilots, were held prisoner during what we call the Vietnam War. But it is more popularly known here as the prison where the French held thousands of Vietnamese prisoner in the early 1900s. Most of the exhibits inside detail just how much Vietnamese prisoners were tortured, mistreated, and killed. There's also an exhibit in here that covers the time during our Vietnam War when American pilots were held captive here. Doesn't go into detail too much about any torture or mistreatment. In fact, many of the photos and exhibits illustrate just how well Americans were treated here. This is the prison where Senator John McCain was held captive after his plane was shot down during a mission. A third exhibit uh, near the outside details the work done since the end of the Vietnam War between the U.S. and Vietnam. Here in Vietnam, and I've noticed these more in the north, the communities down to the block level have these notice boards almost like you're in school or something and they're continuously updated january 25th of this year something happened so they this board here is they're trying to tell the local residents what has happened what's going on in their community notices about upcoming events and it works i'm at a dragon boat race these are incredibly popular throughout southeast asia these boats are actually kind of small I've seen much larger ones. Now the helmsman, instead of shouting, he bangs on a drum. Best I can tell, it's an amateur event with school-age kids from out the region competing. Thanks for hanging for my very first 4x4. I hope you enjoyed the ride. I'm Mark Gilchrist and I am, and you are, we all are, on this planet Earth.